This is why I say niggas need to watch women. Not because women are a problem, it's because of our attitude towards them. We use women as escapes for our own failures. True. I actually have a question. What has pussy, what's the craziest thing that pussy has ever made you do? Sometimes cooch is a mousetrap. Like it is. Like exactly. going to behave oh. on her best behavior. And then the moment you get it and you get inside it, she knows that, all right, now I've given him the exchange. Now I'm allowed to re release all my demons upon this man's life. Since this nigga said release my demons! <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's another retention that South African men will never want to speak about. Alcohol retention. Bro, let's not oh, go bro. there. Let's not. Yeah, go that's what there. I'm saying. Let's see, like, as much as as much as we joke, this this country has a serious alcohol problem. Like, it's not funny. Like, no, oh, bro. bro. I'm wheezing, bro. dog. I'm wheezing. Bro. But you ain't oh. asthmatic. <laughs> late, late, late. Hopefully, her period. Late. Isn't. Right. We on. What looks nice? I don't yeah. know about that. Nah, no stress. No stress. <laughs> Yo, we are back again with the world's most sensational podcast. Sensational. With yours truly, the bringer of truth, drop of gems, man you hate to love and love to hate, Mr. Fear Bavaria. Ah <laughs> This is Wesley Sniper shooting from a distance like Roberto Carlos. Yo, let's hey, get it. Hey, guys, I'm going to my I'm to i And this is the Let Me Mansplain podcast where everything, 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 everything. goes just as long as you can mansplain it. Let's go. <laughs> This man's everything, all his legs. Hey. Like, you give him time to say everything and it wow. legs, it legs, it legs. <laughs> and bro, you can tell them that man fetched his everything from deep, man. Man came out here like Barry White. Everything. Everything. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. 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 you never find tomorrow of you. Yeah, that's what that nigga is Yay. Like I, I do. do. Bruh, as a chance, I've always imagined. Sound like Frank Sinatra. I've, I've always imagined. Yeah, like, yeah. What you or not imagined. Me? I've always wondered why. Like, you know, whenever like you see gay guys that dress like women, but they're not oh. uh, transsexuals. No, yeah. right. So they always have the high pitched uh -huh. voice. Do they ever just get tired and then just yeah. go back to the default and be like, hey, 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 machita, you, 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 you. I've always wondered, bro. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the switch. Speaking, no, I'm saying like a goat the whole day must be irritating as fuck, bro. Like a goat? Bro, the, yeah. the whole, the switch, oh, Bella, they sound like the switch comes with its confidence. No, but that's why I wondered, like, do they ever get tired and like by themselves? No, you like, matter. Hey, fuck. Hey, you fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're like mad. Maybe if you piss them off, they do. Oh, no, but like, oh, of course they oh, would oh, when you piss them off. Oh, but it's like when they by themselves, like, okay, let me drink tea so I can use my high pitch voice tomorrow. Oh god! Or just, oh, just fuck with everybody and be like, nah, tomorrow I'm just I'm not doing this. Just just we'll be straight to mm -hmm. I feel you. I do that shit. Bro, <laughs> I was gay. You niggas, I do that shit. Just fuck with me. Alphabet gang. <laughs> alphabet gang. <laughs> you want smoke with alphabet you gang? Niggas wanna you wanna piss off <laughs> alphabet gang? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just wondering yeah, when you're at home. Cool with that. But if you think about it, if you think about it, bro, Alphabet Gang made Mac G famous. So maybe we should. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh publicity ah, is good shit. publicity. True shit. But they're going to call oh, this bro, toxic like, masculinity. I didn't but I discover care. Mac G. Fuck. Oh, bro. Bro, I don't know. Maybe this is the way I'm white. But the moment I get called things, I take things like toxic masculinity, asshole, uh, chauvinist all i talk i take those as compliments man if when i hear that i'm like oh mm -hmm, yeah that's me that's me do, do you know like, how that's, something Raven, right. yeah, that's me do you know how i low-key feel about that i feel as if those words are used to like yes of course they use projects but then they're saying to you are a real nigga it's just that i don't like your real niggerness that's how that's i feel yeah shit. that's true. real shit when they start throwing shit. And it's like, and you're not doing things to show that, but they're just trying to pick at the words that you say and you're being realistic about everything. Because 
Yeah. It's like I was saying with the person mm-hmm. I was having that discussion with, is that they always want to try and spin <coughs> circles around like, bro, I'm a real nigga. I know what's up. I'm a straight shooter whenever I speak. So if you're not going to tell me 99, that's A, B, C, D, E, I don't know. I don't even know why you're trying to fool me, but bro, just tell me tell straight, me straight up. This is what it is. Don't send me no naked pictures if I can get naked with you. Like, when you said that, that's the first thing that came to my mind. I don't even know where that even comes from. You said, See, you said he when you said that, that was the first thing that came in my mind. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. Uh, uh, he got it from the top shelf. Niggas went to go from the top shelf. Reaching, reaching. <laughs> I've got, I've got hops, bro. I've got hops. But no, listen, bro. The reason I say it's a compliment is because usually what ensues afterwards, they like you more. Because all the guys that they always compliment, all the guys that they compliment, oh, you're such a gentleman, you're such a wada wada. Those are the guys that are getting done filthy. But when you're toxic masculinity, they'll hate you in public, but they'll appreciate that toxic masculinity in private. Facts. Especially, you're so annoying. Yeah, well, when you get hit with that, you're so annoying. We, Wait, you know, I hate inside. you. You know, I hate you. I hate you. Know you. Wait, I hate you. you know that. Wait, what did Big Sean say? He said, um, he said, girls only say I hate you to the guys that they love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's facts, though. Yeah, yeah. What I realized is what when she says you're so annoying, I feel like she's she she likes the fact that you're also picking on her or you're like you're giving her that attention without really like being like outright with now nah, i actually like you you know what i'm saying because like you 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 yeah. you get you can you, you kind of give off the the vibes with, yeah yeah i'm fucking with you but like if if you don't want to i don't give a fuck that's 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 literally how Bro. i do it I, I don't know how i don't know how the niggas do it i i feel as if you're so annoying as code for how the fuck did you get this far into my life? How did you get me to the point where I'm yeah. blushing and laughing? That's what yeah. you saw in my exactly. bro. Yeah. How the fuck did you make exactly. it here? It's like, mm-hmm. nigga, like, how did you get me to do this shit? That's how I feel. You're so annoying. It's, it's like, bro, it's like, you got me here. I don't know how you got me here. I had my guard up, had my walls up, whatever you did, some voodoo shit, who knows? Yep. Or, it's the or same it's, as it's the same as stop it. You see when she says stop it, oh, stop it when you yeah, make her smile yeah, yeah, and she's yeah, getting teethy, yeah, yeah. she's like grinning. Ah, I so, hey, yeah, my problem, yeah. my biggest problem is when they you you try and and like you try okay, me, I try to be salty and I, I I like I I back off like to be salty, knowing that hey, and then they pull you in and it's like oh hey, hey no 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 let me be salty like me, I like being salty sometimes. Sensation. Like, hey, hey, and I stop and then I stop and they're like, Why are you stopping? Because you told me to like Yo, it's fun to put them off. Niggas are toxic. Yes, you are really toxic, chakra. It's you fun. Chakra. It would lavender things, bruv. Lavender. <laughs> People. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No. Well, listen, listen. Man. Talking about pushing and pulling. Have you niggas ever read the situation completely wrong? Yes. And as soon as I knew I was wrong, I. Oh, in the past, I used to ghost, but then now I just like, ah, it's okay, cool. It's nice knowing you. Peace. Bro, oh, I friend zone you like a motherfucker. Sensation. Yeah, I don't bother with that. Have you ever guessed it wrong and moved ahead with it? Nah. Mm, bro. I've never fallen bro. flat on my face, if that's what you're trying to say. I'm trying to think, because it's like, okay, let me quickly uh, say, uh, I think I have at some stage, but it's like, it was, oh, I, was wait, granted, I'm I, have. I was granted permission to to proceed but not exceed. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. You know what I'm they saying? They led you on. My one they led you on. No, my one is rough. Like I read it all the way wrong. A strong one still. A really strong one, dude. Like um I think it was there, yeah, probably 2017. At the at the gym, I was training at Planet Fitness, right? And then there was this uh it's kind of milfy. She's like a milf, like late 40s, 50s joint, like white lady, bro. You mm. know what I'm saying? So um, I was working out, whatever. Then at one time she asked me, she asked me how to do this workout. And I was like, all right, cool. No, I'm almost done. You can join me for like a quick session, whatever. And I did that. And she's like, oh, my knees or whatever. And I was like, cool, still. 
And then I do this thing where I put her on her back on the ground and I was, help, I was holding her legs up and helping her stretch. And like, obviously I was stretching or whatever, cool. So she was like, oh, you're so nice, whatever, cool, lovely. And then probably over the next three or so weeks, let's say two, three weeks, like I probably seen her like another five, five instances afterwards, right? And I did somewhat similar things. And then the joke started flying and I'm like, wait 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 is this is this really happening because there was a point where i was like is this really happening and then i remember there was one time i was just training by myself and she came through and then i had finished the set and she squeezed my arm she's like oh you're really strong and she gave me a look i'm like ah 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 hold up hold he's up, lit up, hold up. Ah, Bro, am i really about to get some bland right now Hold up, mm. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Yo, so boom, I was like, okay, still, okay, still, let's get a coffee after the gym. And she's like, all right, that's cool. I'm like, mm. okay, okay, okay. And <laughs> yeah, man, just like sitting himself. The- <laughs> Bro, he was I'm like, himself. Okay, okay, maybe, okay, maybe, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, still, boom, we do that thing. And then I'm at this point just like, all right, so I'm going to follow through now, aren't I? Boom, I'm, we're leaving the gym now. And then I wave at her, whatever she waves at me and she smiles. And then I go to the car, right? Nice whip, by the way. Nice whip, by the way. Range, range over something. I think it was, it was the new one and it just dropped. So I go into the car. I'm like, I'm getting ready to get into the car. Because I'm having a chat because she opened the window. I'm having a chat. It's like, what are your plans later? Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, no mm. way. She's asking me my plans later. Mm. So, I mean, I'm like, nah, one of my plans are you. And she smiles. And she's like, oh, you thought it was like that. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. hold up. Wait, Yo. hold up, hold up. Oh, you feeling on a nigger. You're having coffees with the nigga half your age. And you've been doing all types of innuendos and flirty things. And then when I'm when I'm here to get it, then you're like, it's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I just like you're like my son's age. I'm like, Shh. oh fuck. Oh fuck. You? Yo, man read it all the way wrong. She was just being friendly. Like I thought she was being flirty because she's giving man eyes. She's giving man eyes. Nah. When you see. I'm, this is what, what I'm trying to When a girl squeezes your muscles and say, Oh you're so strong And she says it in a tone She doesn't say Oh you're really strong It's like Oh no you're really strong And she looks you in the eye Dude, dude It was dude, It was dude, a dude. carrot stick Attached to a rope You were never gonna get it She knows the yeah, game woman do, She knows the game That's what I'm saying All it was a carrot the women do that All the women do that On purpose sometimes uh, like yeah, Stella's true. got a groove back type of shit. They do yeah. that. To, yeah. Like, yeah. They, yeah. They do that to, to, to inform themselves. It's oh no, I could still do this if I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stella's got yeah, a groove real. back. Stella's got a groove back for real. I but a nigga learned. A nigga learned the lesson there, good I no, and it's okay. You know what? No, it's okay. That's what I'm saying. It's okay because okay you learned that mm. from an older woman. It's okay. Mm. It's like it's not that bad. Like if you had learned that from someone your age, it would have been like, what? You were sleeping like a motherfucker. Because someone, it was someone you older than you. Because oh, someone your age would have handled that all the way wrong. Would have started trashing you after that. Would have started going around trashing you like, ah, this nigga wants me. Don't you know this? This lady, she's mature and she says, "Go to Vader, help, bro. This was a misunderstanding. I didn't mean it like that." Finish and clear. Done. Exactly. Finished. Finished. Okay. These young hands, wait. It's okay. They're gonna go around spreading things about you, and especially. And also, no, I'm saying especially when like you're the yeah, one who's yeah, like, yeah, "Oh yeah, shit, my on. bad. It's okay," and you actually disappear on purpose, and then they're like, "No, no, 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 no. Carry on chasing <laughs> me, pet. Carry on chasing me. Yo, that's the shit that pisses me off." But yeah, you know why? Like, you know why though? She's still young. She's still young. She still needs that attention. Now, an older woman needs the same attention, but she knows how to get it. Now. <laughs> Mm. One sniff yeah, of cocaine and she leaves. Nah, mm-hmm. she's a she's a fit joint though. She was a fit. She's joint been at the point. Yo, no man, she's a fit joint though. Like I'm, a nigga was already imagining taking down those old walls, bro. Throwing up some new drapes, throwing up some new curtains. Wow, sensation. You know what? The, you know what? The one thing I've learned though with all the women is, if she did that to you, yeah. you weren't supposed to. You weren't supposed to make the first move. Like yes. never, ever, yeah, ever probably. make the first move. Yes, with with all the women, you never make the first move. They will direct yeah. you, and 
they will teach you how they want the, the shit to go. You know what I'm saying? You know what I think? Do you know what I learned from that, Jens? I learned, I learned from that that a lot of times women want to be complicit in their own seduction. And of course, duh. Like, she wants, she wants, obviously, duh, it's duh, but for a young kid back then, I didn't know that. Oh, that's normal. That's, that's like, growing what, pains. That's oh, like bro. what? Four yeah, years that's ago. Like growing pains. Girlfriend. Like yeah. early twenties, like how bro, that's normal shit. Like, like the way she handled it was dope, and she did she did what Jada you know failed. What I'm saying. To, she did what Jada failed to do. She failed to to cut it off, nip it at the end. <laughs> Cause that entanglement yeah, could have went think... left, and she would have made you a lost puppy, like a sick puppy following her everywhere. She could see what's like. This is too easy. That's why she was like, Yazin, let me just calm no, down a you, bit. You know what? Maybe, perhaps. But you see, up to that point, I wasn't on the lost puppy thing. To me, I just wanted to get a get a taste of a aged vintage vanilla. Sensational. No, see I think that, you yeah, see yeah. when you pull it out like the wine, you pull it out the, like the one like hmm, 19, 1968. 1968. Hmm, that was a good year. Lovely. I was just yeah. on that too. Yeah, I, I really feel as if she just knew like what she was doing from jump with the coffee. When you asked about the coffee, she knew from there yeah. and just mm-hmm. wanted to see how you would handle it. I feel as if if mm-hmm. you were more experienced, I think you would have gotten to where you wanted to be. But she was like, eh, this man is moving a little too. He's too excited. He yeah. needs but some But she milk. also knew what she was doing. Probably. No, nah, but Probably. she knew what she was doing. Probably. Because it's like, Probably. she knows I'm thing, trying to, the, like, the, the cast a, a yeah, young yeah. nigga. And of course, I'm going to get that reaction. But she wants to see if you're different. Oh, wow. Yeah. But you see, the crazy thing is, even after that, right? Because even after that thing, I thought she was going to go cold and she was gonna go left like she's never gonna look at mans like that but even when i see her around she talks to me and she still gives me that look yeah Pilla, like she, every now and yeah. again oh that's obvious. every now and again Bro, like, you it was hook and sinker and so you fell for it carrot stick yeah you fell for the probably. trick ah uh, yeah you fell yeah, for this you fell yeah. for this the trick so that's that's it so yeah. now you're caught yeah, you can't leave you know what I'm saying? You Man, can't be you can't even be nasty to her. If you're mean to her, it's gonna be oh wait, the only way you can get out of this is that way, actually. Just be like, no, nah, no, thank you. I don't need this. Uh, I love how you niggas say just be like this. This this train is long sailed, my G. <laughs> this train nah, is Peter is saying if you were you if you were in that situation yeah, like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah. But like we're just saying for future for people listening, listening, we know what's K show. This is how you're supposed to act. Cause when we when we were also hit with that the first time, the first time I was hit with that shit, the the carrot stick was with a bang. Gotcha, bitch. A, hey, bro, niggas were just like, yeah. you know, like a hundred niggas were afraid to approach. I should hit me with that carrot stick. Here I am going to her class trying to talk to her, and then she's like listening to me show. And then uh, I just realized, no, 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 this is not even moving anyway. Like, what's going on? And then I had to leave because I could see it from from jump. Bro. So I'm like, yeah, I I got roped in Yo. and. Her, bro, her friends were stalking me and everything and then i was like eh, this doesn't make sense if the friend is acting like she wants me to like it feels like a trap at that stage and i had to make the right decision like i was like nah i, I can't do this anymore yo i got roped in bro like i felt embarrassed I, you know you know hit bunny with a carrot stick a lesbian yeah, yeah. Oh, I fell in love with but the niggas, lesbian. What did I say? Knock on the door, baby, let me in. Niggas, I what did I say lesson, about smoking with alphabet gang? Why y'all no. niggas? <laughs> hey, 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 I listen. I oh, that's not even a diss. But this man, he has a young thug. Actually, like that song was perfect. I fell in love with a lesbian. Can they knock on your door, baby, let me in? I should have learned my lesson then. It makes so much sense why you don't. <laughs> so much sense. That's what <laughs> no, it actually happened. <laughs> Oh Can I tell gosh. you the story? This yeah. is what happened. This is what happened, right? Kind of the same thing with, with you, uh, 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 Bavaria, because we met at the gym, right? But we were, yeah. we were working out, and she's like, she's not like buff, buff, you know what I'm saying? But like, she's, she's got that athletic type of body that I like, you know what I'm saying? And she's no way. Ass no for way. Days. Don't ask for days. No, don't tell me you tried to take down a young ma. Don't tell me you tried to take down a young ma. Oh. Dude, she was beautiful. No, Ooh. if she wasn't the stud, trust me, she's not the stud in the relationship. Oh, she's right. beautiful. Right, she's so. little bro, she was hey, beautiful. Bingo, bro. And hey, bingo. another thing is I met her in I met her in JHP. I met her in Johannesburg. And we, we are both from uh KZN. And she was also older than me than me at the time. And she was about like 26. I was about like 21. Sensational. So, 
Sensational. Right. Sensational. So, hey, but I get roped in to the point where she invites me to a party, right? I go to a party. I I'm thinking that first night she she we we go bro like you you know how you know when things happen at the party like you know person grinding on you you know she be mm, whispering shit in your ear every night and then you thinking ah it's about to happen you know what I'm saying you 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 know what I'm saying and then the first party that we went to together it didn't happen but she was doing she was sending out the the best innuendos bro I I'm thinking mm. am I playing it slow. Am I, am, what am I doing wrong here, Ebo? I, and then, okay, I go to her, after about like two, three parties that we've been to, and she's not giving it up, I'm like, why do you keep inviting me to parties that have fine, way, not like way hot chicks, like, like fine ass honeys, but when we get there, you want to act like you own me in front of these honey but then you ain't giving it up at the same time oh, it's like it's fucking no. me it's uh, fucking me no, no, bruh bruh hey, y'all feel my pain bruh that's that's top level manipulation Shit. oh, oh no. my god bruh, bruh. like this i've been hit so just wore you he wore you around her arm like a birkin bag <laughs> bruh, bruh, bruh. she bruh. wanted a birkin i told her work it hey bruh no. So then, <laughs> mm-hmm. so then, this this is how the bomb explodes in my face, right? She used to she used to stay in a building that one of my homies used to stay in as well. So then, when I go to see my homie, I'm like, hey, let me go, ch- let me go check up on this honey. Eh? And it had been about like a month since that, since I'd seen her, right? Because I was I'd I'd given up. I was like, nah, bro, you're not gonna you're not gonna string me on like that and. And I'm actually gonna play dumb. I don't do I don't do games like that. I I leave. Cause you know what the worst part is? We had made out. Like we had kissed so many fucking times, it was annoying. I deserved pussy at this point. You know what I'm saying? Sensational. That's not sensational at all. Man was crying. He was crying for pussy. He was longing for the blue pussy. balls, bro. They hit you with the Bro, they hit you with the, the blue balls. And blue balls, balls yes. Bro. So then yes, one yes. day I go check up on this honey. When I'm there, this stud motherfucker answers the door. I'm like, who the fuck is no. this? No. And then I'm like, no, can I know, can I can I talk to so and so? And she's like, Mm-mm. hey, she's busy. Sure. And I'm like, oh, Whoa. oh hell no. What the oh, fuck? Oh, hey, and, then, hey, and then this honey comes to the door. And she's like, uh, can I talk to you later? I'm like, <laughs> I laugh. Yo. I literally laugh. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. But then, and then I leave, right? And then when I'm leaving, I'm like, should I gone in? Should I? I should have just walked in. I, I should have just fucking walked in. Because that's what I was literally thinking like 10 minutes afterwards. Because it was like, okay, I get, I get what's happening there. Fine. Lesbian shit. But. I should have just walked in. I should have tested my powers at that point because I had one of them. I had one of them, bro. It could have happened. Yo, it could have happened. Bro, yo. But in all and honesty, the stud, bro. the stud motherfucker too wasn't that ugly. I ain't even gonna lie. The stud motherfucker, she wasn't even that ha. ugly. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> this, this shit could have happened. Bro. But you know what I've realized about fantasy fantasy scenarios? Whenever like yeah. people don't tell us, like I keep saying. In terms of partying, whenever I'm talking to Sylvester, I'm like, yo, bro, why don't you party people tell us that there's always going to be some issue at a party. There's always going to be an unnecessary fight. There's always going to be cops or something. Something's going to happen. Oh, there always has on, to be bro. some kind of drama. Come on, so that's with like a the, script. You see what I'm saying? So with this too, it is also a script. So with, yeah. and people don't understand that things come attached with these almost perfect scenarios. Like, if you're going to have a threesome or whatever, yeah. it seems perfect, but something's going to come with that. So that's why I'd never, like, I don't feed into perfect scenarios because I've even told you about one of my scenarios where it just landed on my doorstep, literally. And then after I started paying the price. Oh, oh, I remember oh. that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I started paying shit. the price after it landed on my doorstep. I was like, oh, okay, cool. When it comes, it's easy. When, when you receive a package that you didn't even order, then there's something wrong with it. Ooh. That's yo, can I tell you another story? That's that's mm, the same mm. shit. It was my birthday this week, right? So I'm like, I'm like, yo, I wanted to fuck. I was like, 
But then the pussy availed itself to, by the, by the way, availed themselves. So I was like, no, nah, 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 something wrong here, bro. I asked the universe for, I didn't ask the universe for this. I just thought about it. I, just, I didn't manifest it. I just thought about it. And then it happened, right? And then I'm like, and then and I must add a disclaimer, though. I mean, at the age that I'm at, bro, like I have other things to do. I have way more important shit to do. And I have way more important people in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather, pref I'd pr I prefer spending my birthday with my family nowadays. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yeah, hey, old I man could Kane. do that. Old man Kane. I'm rather just being honest. time with the, the family. Yeah, I'm just being honest. That's some booty. I'm just being honest in the, in the climate, in the climate that we're in, though, let's just be honest in the climate that we're in. I'd rather much rather be with my family on my birthday, bro. Oh, so for sure. when, it, when it came up, when it came up, people. I was like, yeah. bro, when I came up, I was like, family, pussy, family, pussy. But it was like, nah, I've Wait. had pussy. And and it is not like it was new pussy. You know what I'm saying? It was like repeat customers. I was like, nah. We can do without this I, one. Yeah. We can do this. this and one. the analogy that we made yeah. for that was, if you're always drinking Stella Artois, and then someone says, hey, here's a free Stella, you're not always going to take the Stella. <laughs> yeah. That's true. You're not always going to drink Stella Artois all the time. You're like Corona. Bruh, sometimes Corona, sometimes mm. Heineken, sometimes the label, Black no. label, like, just, just to but just go a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Go, 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 go anything. The hood. You know what I'm saying? Anything I besides hard Stella Artois. Bro. bro. Anything bro, besides you know Stella Artois right realized, now. what I've realized, bro. Yeah. Mm. You know what I've realized? I think we've seen enough to the point to know that, like, a lot of times, sometimes Cooch is a mousetrap. Like, it is. Like, exactly. going to behave oh. on her best behavior. And then the moment you get it and you get <clears> inside it, she knows that, all right. <laughs> Now I've given him the exchange. Now I'm allowed to re release all my demons upon this man's life. Sensational. And bro, <laughs> this is kind of why. This nigga said release my demons. <laughs> bro, a crutch. She's going to release the crutch goblins, bro. The crutch goblins. Uh, oh, my God. Bro. Bro. I've seen, I've seen this switch. <laughs> I've seen it like even like not only the demons but the entitlement it just switches on after you you, you get it you see when you beat it out now the what is we come comes beat out beat the demons out mm -hmm. the devil my mama oh. have beat it out me <laughs> 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 this man really relates this guy's dying bro <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> oh and shit my bad, bro. My time, bad. That time, <laughs> Go ahead. sometimes I can see, like, you know, you can see in her eyes that she's pretending. Like, this is not who she really oh, is, this pleasant hun that she is. And when she's offering the cooch, it's almost like she's looking at you like you're signing your soul away. Mm. It's like it's like sitting across from Jay-Z before the big record deal. So, no, not his just... traits. Bro, listen, bro. You you actually answer something, because we've said this a thousand times that pussy yeah. can be demonic. Every now and again, it can bro, be demonic. Bro, mm, literally, bro. you are signing. Bro, this is why. This is why these days <laughs> they call. The, no, listen. This man is laughing before I get to my point. <laughs> this is why these days, like the the slang word for baddies is demons. Ooh, she's on demon time. Demon time. You know oh. what I'm saying? Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. bro, bro. Put your mouth demon time. You know what I'm saying? You, you see bro. what I'm saying? And and also, also, notice, sometimes while you're in it, you're beating her now. <laughs> and she transforms. Ha, ah, no. Ha, ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, guys. No, but I, they do transform sometimes. No, I, no, they, no, no, no. I hear that. But <laughs> I feel heavy. I feel heavy. Like, I feel heavy. In my body and in my it's spirit, bro. she's boy. sucking my soul out, bro. She's <laughs> sucking my soul out, bro. She's taking everything from a nigga, bro. By the time I'm done, I'm just like, what just happened? I, did I really just sign my soul away like that? Ah. <sighs> and I can't. You know, so she's my soul. 
Because every time she just go sleep, she just go sleep. This is Please. this is normal. This Please is all stop. in a day's work. It's taking a soul. It's all in a day's work for. Her. <laughs> and I cannot sell my soul. <laughs> You're signing a contract with the devil bro. himself, bro. Oh, bro. bro. I bro. nah, I'm taking that far, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, bro. bro, I'm wheezing, bro. dog. I'm wheezing, bro. but you ain't oh. asthmatic. <laughs> hey. I almost stopped. I'm like, no way. I'll be here all week. Play the through ball, <laughs> bro. I'll, I'll be here all week, bro. Bro, but actually, yeah, this, this actually takes me to this week's top five. Top five, top five, top five. These now, mm-hmm. these are the top five. Soul snatching positions. Oh man! Top five soul snatching positions oh, man. in the bedroom. Right. Run to them already. 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 And you know, one. and you know what happened. You know what happened when you said top five soul snatching positions, and I matched it with what men just said about when, 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 when they work, when they transform. I was like, oh yeah, Mm-mm. these are the these were the positions. They they coincide. They make sense. You see what I'm saying? So at number yeah. five, wait, 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 bro. Okay. Sorry, sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Before you start, is it so snatching positions when I'm snatching hers or when she's snatching mine? Right, when she snatches yours, who cares about when you snatch hers? All right, like no one cares right, when. Right. Oh, no, I need okay. Careful. Now the big, now the picture's different now. Yeah, now the picture's different now. Oh wait, you guys want to do it from the nigga right, perspective? Because I, I was, no, I was, no, no, I was no, no. I just wanted clarification. Or... Oh, okay. I, was, I just wanted clarification. If, uh, we can do the nigga perspective if you if you want, but I know this this perspective. I just want to ah, let's hit the girl one. Yeah, because I want us to let's hit the girl. Let's hit the girl. Let's hit the girl. Let's hit the girl. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I say at number five, I say when she gets on top, <laughs> like a normal a normal she, cow. She, got, she, she needs to know what she needs. She needs to know what she's doing though. Exactly. Like, that's why I said number say, five. Oh, yeah, top. that's true. Yeah, it's like a normal rhythm. Cover. Rhythm is very hip rhythm is very important. Yes, very that's, what I'm, important. that's why I said number five because they can snatch your soul, but if they know what they're doing, exactly. Yeah, okay. good. Right, number four. Ah, I would say, uh, doggy, doggy. Yeah, I, I'd have to say doggy number four. But she needs to throw to that throw shit it back. back. Throw that shit back. back. It yes. is, bruh. Yeah, bruh. Bella, of course. That's what we're saying. We'll see, they do all these, these, these dope stuff, but then that's the one, that's the one position that you know would we'll see the soul be snatched once she starts throwing it back. Mm. And bless you. And, and you got to relax. There's this type of throwback, bruh. There's many types of throwback, but there's this one where you're just relaxed, statue. Don't do shit. Oh, and she wiggles on your dick. My nigga, ooh, <laughs> she ever had like ass cheeks <laughs> wiggling, and she's going slow like the whole time down the pole, and then she goes up, and then she, mm. yeah. But go, number three, go go here, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, no, nigga, don't nut now, Jesus. Don't nut no. now. Don't nut now. Goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hold me, bro. Let's hit number three. Let's hit number three. Okay, you have to be skilled. To for her to do it from her mm. perspective, missionary, <laughs> you have to be skilled for her to do it from wow. her perspective. If she knows how to grip dig, if she knows how to grip yes. dig, yes, yes, from her perspective, yeah. 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 missionary is yeah. is soul. Su- to me, that's, that's that's always been number one to me. Dude, that's soul sucking. Really? And 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 one one first of all, wait 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 wait. It's it's grip dig and. There's there's a point in time in the fucking where she needs to claw you or like lock you in, right? There's that there's that yes. time. But she needs to know what that time when it's like that time. It's yes. not like it's we're all different as men. She needs to know, bro. Ooh. That's facts. Though. Actually, That's let's facts. finish the top five because this, this, this is going to something else, bro, that I'm thinking about. <laughs> Number- I'm just saying, I'm just adding on, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, bro, there's something, there's something that I, I need you to... There's, there's disclaimers, because you can't just say missionary. Eh, eh. Number one. I, number number two. two. Number two, I say a split. When she oh. does a split on the dick, and she starts twerking it. Oh. I, I don't know if y'all have oh. ever had that. Twerking on the dick. Wait, standing. Ah. Oh. 
that's soul snatching a whole splits and they're twerking at the same time oh ow ow that's oh shit that's so fucking oh. yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. this man yeah. is uh, amazed oh. yo. <laughs> bro yo bro no it's a, there's a throwback that's associated with that bro no pun intended Ooh, sensational sensational Ugh. sensational sensational but bro sensational bro yes anyway, yes Yo. At number one, <laughs> yo, 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 no, we can't let that one pause. Instant replay, VAR, <laughs> VAR, bro, mm, that was sensational, bro. Sensational, mm, I'm giving the call, mm, but yeah, mm, mm, mm. at number one, yeah, continue, bro. <clears throat> at number one, I have a very generic one, but it will always get the job done. At number one, I have Flats Doki. You will ow, not survive ow, five minutes. Ow. Five minutes. And that one is beneficial to both of you because you can either knock her out, but before you even get to knock her out, she's throwing it back. Who nigga? But yeah. No, nigga. no, like, like I, I, can, I can say that. Like, I'd swap, I'd swap number two and number one, though, because flat doggy, I, I, yeah, like yeah, yeah, you're yeah. saying. But you're not real I, quick. I, 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 tend to, you, I tend to knock them out, but i mean what Wait, please repeat. out of control there i mean please repeat you tend to not what you knock her out i mean i tend Jesus, to knock her out, out boy yeah i tend to knock her out before she knocks me out bro come on bro How, what is she oh. gonna do from flat doggy that's no, no, amazing no. But, she but has no, to be yeah. amazing though. nah but that's what i'm saying let's see when she throws it back and flat pillar isn't flat dog is also different that's also a different position i don't last long in that's five minutes max after that it's i it's just luck i'm probably on the, the 700th round if i if i stay there you know, I'm safe. I stay there longer than yeah. five minutes. That's just luck. But yeah, I say, we'll see, when they throw it back from that position, you are going to knock them out very, but at that time, your soul is being snatched. That's why you can't last five minutes. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> but I won't put it at number one anyway. Like, you're right. The split is at number one. So let me number run through the split. Let me run through the five. Okay. Number five, we have normal cowgirl. I can even add reverse cowgirl to that when she's on top. All right. Number four. I have doggy style. Number three, I have missionary. Number two, I'm gonna put flat doggy. And number one, the split, the twerk, the flips, and the tricks. Woo! Mm. Honorable mention. You know that I, I've deeped chances. Wait, I think a lot of those things they look better than they feel sometimes. Maybe like, two others. I think you two. see, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! Listen, listen. Like, yeah, if yeah. I had to put, if I had to put a scale of, like, on the pleasure scale, like, of one to ten, I feel like most of the thing that comes from it is just seeing her do that. It's like, yo, what realm am yeah, I in? My demon land, bro. Like, that's able, the whole point. That's able, the whole point. That's that's how she snatches your soul. I mean, is Adolf exactly. Hitler gonna pop around the corner too now? Like, what am I seeing? Yeah, but the, Christ. the skill is the thing Compos that snatches Maria's, your soul. It's not her. Bro, it's man starts skill. speaking in tongues. Bro, man starts speaking in tongues. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Aye, bro. <sighs> you, you're talking old That's... stuff. These, these, these new ones, they go, hey, 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 pitch them on demon time. <laughs> yo, yo. But you know what? You know what's a, an honorable mention to me, dog? It's not really, it's not really much of a position, but you see when she knows what she's doing, and she puts you on your back. Not you standing up. You see, when you're standing up, you're the one with the steering. But when she puts you on your back and she, she gives you that quack quack 3000, dude. Mm. Listen. And then when it's like she's bent over and you can see her, her ass is above her head, right? Her ass is up and then she bends her head down to it. And then she looks up at you and she makes that eye contact. Mm. And then she's twisting mm. it through. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my God. I'm mm. gone. Listen. I'm gone. Mm. Listen, I love that shit when she be looking at you. Mm, 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 mm. I, I actually have a question, you know, like, what do you do when the Gluck Gluck 3000 is broken? What do you mean? When it doesn't want to act like you mean? It, it doesn't, you know, when you, when you like, let's say you play with a toy so much, you play with your toy car so much that it doesn't really go at the speed it usually goes at. So if the Gluck Gluck 3000 or 700 was already, has already run its, 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 its course, it's, it's run its race. You know what I'm saying? It's run a mile or two. And then now it's, it doesn't work on you. You know, like it's not new machinery. It's used machinery that doesn't, I don't know, bro. Like for me, sometimes a clock like 3000 doesn't really work. 
you know what? Do you know what? Well, obviously, it, it, it doesn't need to be said. We're all different men. But yes. I personally... Like I said. I, I personally, bro, like, even if you're super bad at Glock Doc 3000, I don't have a problem because then I, I have a, the, the opportunity to tell you what to do and I take control. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So then when it's like, when it's like, like mid... I start telling you, nah, spit, spit like this, do this. I start being a hairstylist, bro. So I start wrapping the hair around the head. I start doing all them things. I start ah. using my hand to control. You start doing all them things. That, that, that's when, because to me, it can never not be uh, sensational. It will always be sensational. Mm. Bro, my problem it is people, be, you know, I, I don't know why people don't want to coach each other these days. That's what you're supposed to do. Be like, I, I don't like it like this, do it like that. Don't just sit and keep quiet. If you don't like you know what, what they're saying, saying, just say, we'll say, bro, can you try it this way? Or can you, you know, just coach them so that they can make it better for you and possibly for future partners. You know what I'm saying? So at least you know what you're doing now. I want to leave her better than I found her, G. Oh, Shh. That, that needed a moment of silence. Sensational. 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 No, but then let's, so, so now you're that nigga on wait, uh, bro, you're, wait, wait, hold on. Actually, you're that nigga that Drake was talking about some practice. All those other men were practice. Literally you're you're training her for another nigga. Oh uh, not really, bro. I think training I, I don't think of it like that. I think of it just as enjoying my watch. Yeah. <laughs> King Kong ain't got nah, shit nigga. on me. And so she moves on to another nigga. Yeah, let's let's end this. I'm tired of talking about sex. Sex is sex. So heaven is sex. Ah! 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 No, and, no, 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 no. And the, the, the signature, the signature finger click as well. It's, it's a heaven. It's a heaven. It's a heaven. Yeah, heaven. Hey, heaven. I heaven. I heaven. Bro, like, why is it called heaven? Like, guys, no. Ah, bro. Imagine, bro. Let me stop this. <laughs> Yeah, men's, men's. You said something oh, about Andre yeah. 3K's verse on Life of the Party. Best verse of the millennium. But like, it's, 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 it's Andre 3 Stacks doing what... It's Andre it's 3 cold. Stacks doing what Andre 3 Stacks does, bro. Like, every time he releases... Cold. Like, or he does a feature with somebody. It's like, he's changed... The, he's trying to change the game up, or he's forcing the game... Or he's forcing people to get their bars up on purpose. Like, and they are... No, 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 no. I, Andre, I feel Andre Three Stacks doesn't give two shits about that. He's just rapping the way he raps. Mind you, the problem is he's a high level rapper. I keep saying, whenever people yeah. ask us, why do we think that Andre Three Stacks is damn near top five of all time? It's because every single time he drops a verse, it's one of the best verses we've heard in a long ass time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not just, I, th- I think Jay Z kind of broke his, his streak with that one on Kanye's album. Like, I don't, I don't understand what that was, but he broke his streak there. But Usually Jay Z did that too. The one with Nipsey, he went crazy on that shit. Like these top tier lyricists know exactly like how to rap. And if shit changes after that, that's on everyone else. If everyone follows them, but RJ three stacks, you can't mirror his his cadence, his style, his flow. You can you can try imitate. It's imitation is a what? what what's that saying? Imitation highest form of flattery. Imitation is flattery. Highest form of flattery. Oh yeah, but then also at the same time, Jay Z said. Um, I'm not even flattered. It's just annoying me. So <laughs> it's like niggas like that will be like, we're doing it not Wait. to sit to start a trend. It's because we can do it. That's how I feel about three stacks. Well, yeah, yeah not to know, start a trend, but I feel like I feel <clears throat> like people like his 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 peers, they'll listen to that shit and be like, mm, damn. I can't. Yeah. If it's, I'm if I'm, I'm gonna release something, if I come with something, I need to come with something barred up, bro. And I wish more people would come barred up because I need some more bars, man. But with three stacks, I think it's it's that it's very soulful. Like the way he delivers his yeah. thing. Because I think maybe it comes from that southern, that south, that south side kind of the thing that he's been doing, even when he was with Big Boy and Outcast, bro. He always had a more and you... soulful feel to his thing. So even when he spits a it... bar like 10, 20 years later, it's like jeez. And it comes That'll from happen when you fuck with Eric Kabadu. Oh my gosh. Actually, gents, I actually have a question. What has pussy? What's the craziest thing that pussy has ever made you do? What What is the craziest thing you've oh, done for okay. pussy? No, no, no. What is the craziest thing that good pussy has ever done to you? What did it make you do? <coughs> um. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. The 
craziest thing. I had a bitch move in with me I and drove. she wasn't paying rent. And and, <laughs> and, uh-huh. and when, what? Wait, hold up, hold up. I it was, ain't tricking if you I'll say kerpa. Say kerpa. So I had a bitch move in. First of all, first of all, it's guarded. There's security guards and everything. She has to get through like like 10,000 people before she even gets upstairs. But I always managed to make it happen. And then she she lived she lived with me like for like a while, bro. Like three months, bro. Like three good months. Cause that pussy was that good. I just was like, nah, fuck it. I gotta keep this shit. That's heavy, dog. All right. That's crazy. Sh- you prefer it? Right. That's not too bad. Me, um, I don't know. I think I think I've always got to snap out of it because of pride. But I think the the wildest thing is probably like drive from Peter Marisburg to Durban to get a slice and then go back within a day. What? What? I see. Oh, no, no, oh that's just no. stupid. That's just dumb. I, 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 but wait, but wait, Damn, up, bro. But I, I, up, I, I, I low-key understand where you're coming from, too. I low-key understand. But yeah, it's like, men's play. I, like, the thing is, it was like a, I was meaning to come back down anyway. And it's like a two birds, one stone kind of thing. But I nah, know you was honest, flexing. The, the, the you was cooch. flexing. The cooch. I feel the it. Cooch. I know where you were coming from. The cooch from. was the you initial was starting point. The cooch. I won't even lie. The cooch was the initial starting point. But then I was like, all right, I'm here. I'm here. So I might as well do these other things. So it what? wasn't a net loss. It wasn't a net loss. The whole two I birds, one slices, stone good. is bullshit. You only realize that when you got home, it's home. Yeah, see, that actually really helped. Hey, you didn't have that in mind when you were going to her. <laughs> exactly. You did okay, not have bro. You had something he's, 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 else in mind, bro. Nah, bro. nah, nah. He's just for he's being for real though. Nah, nah. Bro, nah, that's all cap cap. like you have my hairline, bro. Shit. <laughs> Jesus. But 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 but, but ways, but ways, you need to you need to stop that. Your hairline's not that bad. It's no, but I, I enjoy it. Bro, you guys know what I like joking. Like, I like making jokes. Like, I like making jokes about people and also myself, too. Like, I'm not trying to do, like, an Eminem theory where it's, like, just myself so no one else can. No. Like, it's funny. Okay, then me. tell no, us, what, 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 what was the craziest thing you did for pussy then? Oh, um, I couriered socks to her, number one. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. What? I couriered socks to her. Okay, that's not bad. That's, that's not like bad helping at all. a friend out. As it wasn't even, I was just buying her socks for the sake of just doing it. Like, unprovoked. Uh, that's, that's actually nice. That's, that's some dumb nigga shit, too. But the craziest thing Around, I've done... I fed, I fed a bitch for three months, bro. Yeah. You, you talk... No, 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 no. Listen, oh, the craziest thing I've done because of Good Pussy was I waited outside their workplace knowing for oh. a good fact that they weren't going to come out. Like, he needs some I knew milk. I was being set up. Oh, that's just simping. <laughs> I knew oh, I was being fuck? set up, oh. bruh. I knew I was oh, being set up, oh, and I was like, oh. "Well, fuck, this shit is too good to let go." Oh. You waited outside, yeah. <laughs> but the past is the past, yo. Hey, yo. Nah, we, we. This is what I like, bro. We all take L's, and the L's make us. The L's make us stronger, bro. You should have seen the looks, bruh. Like, like people just look at me like, "Hey, bro, this guy, like, does he know that she's not coming out?" <laughs> bruh, I waited fifteen <laughs> minutes and decided to leave. <laughs> Yo, uh, at least you weren't standing there like a bouquet or something. Oh fuck no, Yo. hell no. <laughs> you see, the the flower stages and that shit. That's that's when you're inside. Paga to inside. It's not just when you're not sure. No, uh, uh, no. <laughs> late, blood, late. Hopefully, her period. Isn't. Late. Oi. Wait though, Oi. can we can we hey, consider? Hey, hey, can, hey, we consider hey, hey, can we consider this? Sensational. This, uh, this man is skipping over my joke. Sensational. <laughs> no, I didn't. Bro, I didn't hear bro. it. I didn't hear it. I really didn't hear it. Bavaria said bro. it's late, and then I said, "Well, her period, her period shouldn't be." Ow! Damn! Oh! Ow! You'll be here all week. You'll be here all week. <laughs> Sensational. 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 <laughs> wait, wait though. Your question. Can we consider your question a form of simping? Yes, yes. Simple the week. That's oh, bro. That's mm. simple the week, dog. <laughs> I I should get that award. That's a new award. Every every week now we're gonna oh, stop it. Simple the week. I I, yes. I get simple the week for that shit. It doesn't matter if it was all oh, wait, actually, between us. 
Is Between it us, us? Wait, or yeah. is, we're giving the trophy to no to anyone, but this week we're starting with ourselves. I'm getting the simple the week award. <laughs> Yo, niggas, wait. Let's let's give out some weekly medication, blood. Let's give out some weekly medication. This is your weekly medication. Take two of these and call me in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I think the weekly medication, my prescription to anyone listening is this. All of these things that you heard of me, you, or anyone else on this part speaking about, there's one simple way or two actually simple ways of avoiding it. For for the blue balls thing, be direct. Bro, there's nothing that sifts out time wasters than being direct. Talking about Bro. what you want, gunning to what you Thanks. want. Being, being direct, like, like playing around the thing, bro. It just prolongs this thing. It just prolongs it. Like even with my example, with the with the move, the Leng move one, right? That thing could, if she was playing me, and I didn't just go after it. Imagine if I was just like kind of almost in the middle of things. Like the fact that I was like, hey, I want you. And she's like, oh, no. Then it, it got cut off. The game stopped then. But imagine if I was just trying to play it cool and it just kept going and kept going and kept going. That would have been even worse. So being direct is one. And two, I think like having options and not being thirsty, man. Because if you're in the desert, bro, every drop of water just looks like a verve or my way. Bro, here's oh, here's let's, a, be, let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Okay, my go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was go saying ahead. See, here's another part of medication. This is the 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 tablets that you that you that dissolve in the water, you know what I'm saying, that you have to drink. But yeah, then as the a red pills. Bro, but then as a dude, you also like you have to also know how to handle yourself when you don't have options. You have to know your worth now. You have to understand that. Okay, sure. Yeah, I don't have man. options at the moment, but it doesn't mean I have to take anything that comes around with it. Thank you. That's what I was also about to go into. Let's be honest. Because I was about to say, let's be honest with the homies. Because number the number two rule uh, or the number two, the advice, the second piece of advice would only work if you believe in number one, truly. Because... I'll, it doesn't mean because I don't have options now I must thirst. You understand? It's it. You can yeah. be picky. You, you can be picky. Yeah. You know why? Because you. It it means that you value yourself just a little bit more, and you're willing to wait until you get the right piece of pussy. So for the gents, for, it's about time. I think gents now we started valuing themselves as let's value our dicks because this Bruh. dick ain't free, hey, bro. This dick ain't free. Your penis needs a new line manager because he's executing poor penis management on a regular. Mm, 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 I felt that. Damn. <laughs> but no, to me, more on the point about options, right? I think first and foremost, yeah, we should be able to control ourselves. It's just that, bro, the head downstairs just takes over when you when it's thirsty. But second of all, I think every dude in the 21st century, every dude has an option. If he's really down bad. True shit. X videos will always take care of you, my G. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. ah! Everybody has a favorite porn so yeah, 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 you're right. But, you but, know, but, my but, thing but, is like, but. My thing is that, look, look, okay, all jokes aside, right? All jokes aside, I, I just couldn't let that one slide. I, 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 do, I definitely do not recommend uh, diving down into porn when you're down bad, but a lot of times, you just getting rid of that nut that was forcing you to do some dumb stuff really clears up your head. The post nut. Nah, nah, bro. I, I don't believe. I don't believe in that. Let's retain semen, guys. No, no, no. I believe now. Let's not get rid of the semen because it's bothering us. Let's learn how to control ourselves with control the it, semen yeah. within us. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. Like, let's Agreed. retain, bro. Like, because I mean. This thing, bro, there's so much life in that thing. And once you understand, like, like, bro, the depth, bro, that's like your whole muscle. Like, that's, have you ever been to the gym? Let's just, let's, you and me, we, we work out, right? You've been to the gym. Yeah, yeah. You felt like, yo, I'm tired, but I could go for a session of like another session, right? That's, yeah. that's the, that's the strength. That's, that's strength building within you, bro. Now, when you, let that strength go 
ah bro you you literally like Wait. that's you're wasting the hold whole up. the whole thing hold up what hold up hold up hold up see my thing is that i think maybe from a spiritual side you can make an argument but physically that's kind of a myth because niggas like play the semen retention thing like as a whole this woo woo mystical thing to make you stronger like there's many times where i've clotted again and then i've gone to deadlift afterwards in my performance not physical it's not about physical strength bro yeah i get you i get you but it's not about physical strength semen retention is about mental strength it's not about physical strength because you're gonna mm-hmm. be str- mike tyson mike tyson said this mike tyson literally had bitches fuck him after fights and he would fuck after a fight or even before a fight or even after training or before training he's mike tyson he can't do that right he has bitches all over the place so and he wins all the time he won like 66 fights i mean that, come on crazy bro it's crazy. Yeah. he lost five one yeah. six, five six sixty six that's a crazy record and he he even said on his podcast he's like debunk this whole myth it's about the strength thing is not about or the semen retention is not about strength it's about mentality though because look at mike See, tyson's yeah. mentality fucking all these bitches and what did that get him back huh huh Exactly. You know what? You know what? You know what? I actually in, in that in that thing I agree with you. But the only reason I I, I hate semen retention is because semen retention is used as a cope. It's like guys who can't get cooch, so they're gonna sit on their high horse talking about mystical energies and nonsense because they can't get it anywhere. Like if you can get it and you turn it away to focus on your goals, I that's when mm. I respect you. That's but, when I tip my yeah. hands off to you. But didn't they say semen retention brings women? It just attracts women naturally. You get the woman of your dreams. You see, it does. You see, what, you see, what, I'm, <laughs> see what I mean? You see what I mean? This weird thing. You know, your but, are now like, yes. Um, that that's the thing, right? And I don't say it's semen retention really that works with that because even with working out, because me, I feel as if if I'm in tip top shape, I give off that energy. You know what I'm saying? So then that's when women notice yes. me more. Not because yes. of the muscle or anything, no, it's because of the energy I give off, the confidence I have. I walk taller, you know what I'm saying? You're firing on all cylinders. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Firing I look on good on top of that. So I'm just bringing the energy. And if I have the confidence yeah. within me, then I would slate. So I feel as if it's not really, a, it's not necessarily a spiritual thing, but it's also, it's, it's a mix of both. Let me say that because, let me mansplain. It's a mix of both because mm. in terms of the, the spiritual sense, it's, like, bro, you, you're you going to be empty inside if you keep fucking, like, random chicks. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But yeah. the physical sense is that testosterone, bro, that shit can make you get through the craziest of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. mentally, you have to be, pre- yeah. pre- be prepared. But physically, yeah. bro, you can yeah. fucking probably punch a wall at least once and not feel it. At least once. Just once. Just once. Just once. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to exaggerate. <laughs> but you can, you can punch a wall once and your testosterone will carry you through for until you get you know, the proper treatment you need testosterone adds to us it's, and wait wait, 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 wait. I, supplement i have us. a disclaimer mm. when we say punch walls we mean what the walls that we make in africa out of bricks not these american niggas making it out of plastic and wood and all this weird stuff that you can nigger they they, <laughs> they put it they have fucking paper mache on their walls Bro, those niggas are, bro, I don't know how and then they complain <laughs> that tornadoes always sweep their houses up of course it's gonna and they fix it with paper mache <laughs> Bro, ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think. But wait, hold up. I actually want to make a point, right, about this whole thing. The only thing where I say like semen retention has, I wouldn't really call it semen retention, but abstaining, quote unquote, from women has is that women are they like they they like multipliers, right? Whatever you have, they'll multiply. Like if you in a crap situation, a woman will make it worse. If you're mm-hmm. celebrating, women make that better, and. A lot of times women bring, they're like a festive mood, like a celebration. mood, And sometimes you need to grind. You can't be celebrating before you've achieved yet. And I think holding off on that achievement, holding off on that celebration, holding off on those good times that women bring is also a strength. But I also want to be honest, like, that. let's not make semen retention about women or even about sex. Like, semen retention is about recollecting your yourself bro like it's a form of it's like not giving away like it's it's a form of selfishness that you need in order to rejuvenate so that you can give back to the world at some point in time so it's not about um oh no they're doing they're taking away from me or women do this to no it's about no, it's okay not, okay i have nothing not. to offer right now 
I have nothing to yeah. offer right now. Or I believe I don't want to offer what I have right now. I need to retain what I have yeah. until I'm happy with myself and then give off. Because you, can, you can't give off if you have nothing. You understand? Because yeah. it's like even with these motherfuckers who keep shooting blanks. I say to them, practice. Just just practice semen retention for about a year, bro. I swear to you. Semen retention, meditation, proper thing. I swear to you, bro, you will have your baby. Because you, 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 you'll be focusing on that. It'll be something you've thought about. You've retained it. It's a thought that you've, you've been praying for. Whatever, whatever you do, however you get to the, your, your higher being or your higher self, right? Do it so that one day when it's time to give off that energy, that energy that you need to get that baby, you can get it. And it's easy. It happens naturally. Because uh, why? Okay. Not, mm -hmm. it, you, mm -hmm. you only get what you give out. Mm. Mm. That's true. Hey, Pastor Kane is preaching. Ha huh, ha. Huh. Hey, bro. Uh, man, the pimp pastor. From a, from a, oh man. Actually, that's. From a have you noticed? Have you noticed how I do that every teaching. week, though? Have you noticed how I bro, do that every week? Give pimp so. game. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's just call it the word of the week, bro. The word of the week. Bro, but medica it's a weekly medication. It's a weekly medication. But bro, like on that, uh, the last thing I want to say about semen retention is that. It just it's just like a sub level of discipline and that's why it works for us yeah. because we yes. operate on discipline we seriously do mm. if a guy doesn't have discipline bro you you have you're not going anywhere as a guy i don't care about mm. women yeah, and what they never. do they they know what they need to have i'm saying as a guy bro like discipline is in any aspects of your life helps a lot because if you as a guy you have your shit in order you know that in your brain would say well, as i have my shit in order i feel better i feel happier i want you to add exercise and mm, gym or whatever yeah, to that shit yeah, that's yeah. also discipline you have to get up every day and go hit that shit you know what i'm saying because that's why it's like <laughs> someone yeah. said to me a girl once said to me would say i don't understand why uh, gym guys are, are, are fading in school when they actually have the discipline to go workouts every day i died ouch I died. Wow. Yo, do you I know get what? that now. Wow. Fuck. Because Yo. to gym, it takes discipline. Gandhi, yes. to study, it also takes discipline too. Lazzy, studying is not for the smarts. It's for the discipline. It's for the discipline. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. But because, you know I yeah, yeah, yeah. That. yeah. I can answer that because you see, this is why I say niggas need to watch women. Not because women are a problem, it's because of our attitude towards them. We use women as escapes for our own failures. True. Okay, true. We, true. We use That's them as true. escapes. They copes. Like for an example, a dude can be doing so badly in life. Like you said, he doesn't study, he's failing in school, but because he's yoked and he's dieseled from going to the gym and he's getting gal, it's a it's it's a distraction. To make him feel like his life mm. is doing well. When in reality, mm. it's, it's mm. just all over the place. So even with the gym mm. thing, a lot of dudes start in the gym. I'll even admit, I did. I'll get in the gym because I wanted the girls. Right? <laughs> That's how I started. Right? But then when I saw myself getting better in life and I started applying gym things, like you can't just show up one day, work really hard and then be diesel. It's like consistent work, consistent effort when you don't feel like it over time. That taught me how to approach life. And then what my initial uh, uh, motivation faded away. And that was not the reason why I did it anymore. So I just think a lot of dudes are still stuck in that space where they chasing women because women are, they make things better. They, they distract, they're nice, they're really nice distraction. When you like all in rounding up numbers of gal and whatever, and you're not really getting off their life, it's all good and well, but then you wake up one morning, you're 32, you haven't accomplished anything, you have nothing to show for all your years in this earth. And why? Because you are indulging yourself in menial pleasures that did nothing for you. So I think Simon Mike Tyson. Mike Bro, Tyson, that's what I'm saying to you. You know, it's another retention that South African men will never want to speak about. Alcohol retention. Bro, Heineken retention, bro. Niggas don't wanna, don't wanna ever. Let's not no, go bro. there. Let's not. Yeah, that's what there. I'm saying. Let's see, like, as much as as much as we joke, this this country has a serious alcohol problem. Like, it's not funny. Like, we have a serious alcohol like, it's problem. Man. Too serious. Damn. It's like niggas cry when it's gone for months. Like, it's not medicine. <laughs> I, I know Jaeger, I know Jaeger, Jaeger might to taste like medicine, but it's not medicine, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like medicine too, blood. 
bruh. It feels like medicine. Because it doesn't act fast. It acts when it needs to over time. Then hey, you feel it later. Hey. You know what I'm saying? That's what medicine does. Hey. But I want to ask you, Bavaria, um, you said you want you started uh, working out for women is, uh, initially. Women and like, okay, like. To build yeah, your body. Because I wanted to build my body to be better at rugby and I wanted to be better at rugby so I can get recognition and I wanted to get recognition so I can get gal. All right, I feel you. Kane, why did you start Jimmy? So, nigga, I was fat as fuck. You remember I fat the f- Oh, boy, I was fat as fuck. <laughs> Gee, I had to. But wait, why? Yeah, so you, you want to you wanna shift your weight, right? You want to change your body. Because so I was fat as fuck, dude. Listen, dog, I've never, like, no, like, as God is my witness and, and, and as Wes knows, I've never had a problem with women, bro. Like, even when I was fat, bro, I've never hey, had a problem hey, with women. Hey, Pip Daddy, bro. say kirpa. Say kirpa. 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 <laughs> I'm just being honest, though. Hey, facts. Facts. That's facts. I lost oh, my virginity. I lost, I lost my virginity when I was fat and to an older girl. So it was like, eh. you know what I'm saying? It was like, ah, come on, dude. I, I knew. I, what, but what I else only did, did it because I was yeah. fat. Mm. I lost it because I was fat and I didn't like the way I looked. You, oh, can I tell you why I lost my weight? Honestly speaking. I Oh, even why I went to the gym. Dude, I was so embarrassed one day when, when they made us wear like Speedos and shit. I was like, oh, shit. And I'm like, oh, Speedo, yeah, you know how yeah, fat motherfuckers yeah. be. You know, like everything be hanging out. And it's like, oh, ah, I was like, ah, shit. Ah, fuck. Bro. I need to lose weight. You I see, need to lose weight. I remember I, I, I even gymed with you uh, when you were losing weight. I was building muscle, you were losing weight. But what really pushed me to lose the weight was I was literally the only nigga left in the squad that was fat. So I was like, this is not happening. Oh, this is not happening. <laughs> I was the only nigga left in the squad that was fat. So I'm like, this is not happening. Like me and my other homie, we got right every single morning. Man would send me a message at, at five to six, get up. If if I wasn't up by then, because we always like remind each other, what's okay? Sure, I'm on my way to your place, and then vary the routes as past his house, and then we go around the area and come back. But then I was like, I was in, bro. This was like we we're going to first year at that stage. Every single morning, we woke each other up at six. Or whenever we're up, we'd text to okay, sure, I'm up. I'm, 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 and then I would say, I'm on my way. And then he'd be like, sure, I'm up. I'm waiting. Sure. So we both know it's okay. Sure, we both uh getting up. Bruh, we, we jogged together. We we gymmed. We lifted everything. And niggas said, hey, bruh. Yo, man. I also want to get good. But then I see my niggas also not looking good. That's what I want from niggas, bruh. Niggas need to tell me, dog, you're getting fat. And then I'll be like, hey, plus yeah. niggas, Yo. before it gets too late. And then I go back mm. to what I used to be. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I'm self-conscious bro. and I, I know I I know when bro. to work things out, but your niggas need to tell you nine nine because chicks will be like, bro. oh no, you you're still a nice guy. You look though. right. It's like I don't even <laughs> see the nice. difference. It's like right. I don't need motherfuckers to lie to me. It's like, bro, it's like I know that you're lying. Bro. I always know when someone's lying to me. So it's like I need to ask my niggas, bro. hey, my niggas. Did I add? Niggas will tell me nine nine and jokes will follow. And I don't mind this because that's how it's supposed <laughs> to be. Bro. Bro. Bro, exactly. I wrote exactly. to you so many times. Yeah, I like that. Bro, this man called me, Kane called me homeless at some stage, but I was looking bad. Yeah! Yeah! Bro. <laughs> like, hey, this nigga looks Yo, homeless, but bro. I like that. I like this. I like this, man. This is such a real conversation because you see, um, I think when we look at like self-improvement, we always make it seem like it's this idealistic thing where you're always making like a straight line, like the moment you start, you keep going. It's like niggas relapse. You fall off the horse a little bit and you need to mm. come back as well. Mm. Like, Facts. We and it's okay. Make it seem as, as, like, bro, it's life. It's life. Like, even me, like, right? I've been, I've been at this for a while and, like, obviously, you know, you know, the, the results speak for themselves. But every now and again, like, last year, I was fat, dude. I was flipping fat. Nah, d- let's, spent, let's like, not count 2020. Bruh, COVID fucked yeah, all of us up. I'm and just saying uh, that sometimes it did. It did. But it's a lesson, though. It's like, yeah. it's a lesson to say that you can True. do everything right. But sometimes forces of nature over and above your element or realm of control will come in and completely destabilize everything you've worked for. Whether it's financial, you just whether need it's to your work body, around whether it's it. your mind. Exactly. And exactly. this is what I'm saying is that we will never have the perfect circumstances to go after what we want to go after and i think this is the one thing you know the social media age has lied to us about as if working hard Mm. 
hustle culture, I don't sleep, no sleep squad, all of these kind of things that when you are going towards success, it has to look this kind of way and it has to have a certain aesthetic. When you're gymming, you're a gym bro, it has to have a certain kind of aesthetic, but no one seems to mention that, hey, sometimes you gym for two weeks, three weeks, you, you're very uninspired to do it. Like you just do it. Or you could really get injured. Session. Oh, yeah. okay. I really, yeah, I really can't relate to that because I really or, pace or you pull a that muscle. Happens. No, no, like sometimes, pull a sometimes, muscle. like, wait, the thing is, you have to learn how to work through these things. And yeah, yeah. these lazy motherfuckers, and I'll put it on Generation Z, I'm not even gonna put it on our generation. Generation Z has a problem understanding that, yo, Your generation shit happens, shit happens, and when shit happens, clean your ass. And put a new diaper on because it's clear you're still a baby, but at least you need to clean yourself and get to work. Get to work. Do your do your thing right. again. Because life what, was not gonna mm, stop. I, that's what annoys me about like, Amatuke. I don't understand you. this whole depression thing. Like it's like oh, Amatuke are the most depressed people on earth. I get it. Depression is a, is a thing that hits us all. And it's natural. It has to hit you. And if it doesn't hit you, it's. I think you're not working hard enough anyway. It's because you have nothing to aspire to. You're too comfortable. Anyway. You're so, too comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, you're too comfortable anyway. So Ish, don't get depression too can hit you. Better not get you can't too get comfortable. Depression. Exactly. Exactly. Yo, and that's that's those are the worst yo perpetrators of depression. They are all claimers yes. of depression. Yes. They claim depression, yet they are doing fuck all. Nigga. Cool. You're, Nigga. Doing yes. you're stressed up you're depressed over the fact that you're doing nothing not not the fact that you're stressed over the fact that yo i tried doing something and i fucked up or i tried doing something and it didn't work out bro listen, Damn! 20 percent correct why because look at what happened around the world when the pandemic started everyone is sitting at home trapped with their thoughts they weren't doing shit that's why all these mm. drug abuses started happening or increased in numbers. People started getting more depressed. Um, I'm sure therapy has is now the, the big thing now because niggas mm. were or well, niggas sets with their thoughts, and then because you're stagnant, you're not doing anything, you start thinking yourself into a hole. Ganti, when you keep yourself busy, mm. it's not you avoiding problems. You will deal with this the right way, the proper way, whether it's through, through therapy, gym, whatever, whatever helps or whatever works for you. Do that. Actually, but, can I can I give you a reference? Go mm. go watch in China. It's in on Vice. It's called 993, bro. It's exactly what you're saying. Ex exactly to the T. Exactly. Mm. Bruh. And, that, and that's why like, I don't like Kama 2K because they're trying to make it popular to be depressed all the mm. time. It's, it's just, I hate it. It's like, bruh, you do know that, yes, shit happens, but you don't, you don't have to be the victim in every story. You know what I'm saying? It's like victimization really... Mm really mm. hold you back as a human being and they don't know that because majority of them are not out in the working world yet a majority of course mm. some are but they don't understand who say this whole victimization thing no one gives a shit about you outside and once their whole generation moves no into the cares. work world they'll see that no one gives two shits mm -hmm. they'll see and mm. maybe by that time it's too late maybe even your aspirations that you wanted to or you could have uh, 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 um achieved it's Achieved. probably too late sailed. bro they i once sailed exactly i once saw a tweet that said these two k's didn't like the way one of their managers spoke to them so they called a meeting again uh to to speak up what? or to to address how they they, they uh, spoke to them and then they fired them of course that's how it works you don't get to tell us how to, exactly. to treat you you came to me and said you wanted a job i did not go <laughs> looking for you you came to me so now you're gonna try and make I, I see why Han is really pissed off, uh, are really pissed off with us. Cause like, bro, you pursued me, and now you're trying to make the rules type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't let me follow you. You pursued me. That's why it's nah, like, as niggas, I, I, you can't chase tail. Nah, that's different. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Let me. Let me totally I think that's no, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me explain. No, no, I'm not gonna go into it. I don't. Yeah, think yeah. Should, I, like, I yeah, I'm not gonna. Saying, I'm just saying right into it. It, it. Yeah, there is an element yeah, of difference, but I'm just saying in terms of the state of yeah. you can't come and ask me for something. And then tell me that the way I gave it to you was was horrible because you asked me for it. Mm. Mm, mm. I, so, I gave it to you the best way that I can. This is why niggas don't complain about pussy because we asked for it. Exactly. And when she said mm. yes, I gave inside. If it was bad, it doesn't matter. We shut the fuck up because we asked. Sensational. Sensational. Imagine someone saying, we'll say, hey, bro, can you please make me food? And they come and say, hey, you know what? You should have added more paprika, more this, more that. No, mm. eat. 
You know what I'm saying? Go make it your fucking self. <laughs> you were hungry, weren't you? Eat, nigga. Hey, bro. <laughs> oh, 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 bro. My <laughs> thing is this, right? I just want to cap off this whole depression thing. I think depression, like Kane said, you're not doing fuck off. Because a large time, a large amount of the time, your depression gains momentum because a lot of times depression is caused by large amounts of inaction. If you have a messed up situation and you are actively working towards a better thing and you can see the progress coming every day, it becomes much harder to just sit and wallow in your own self-pity and sorrow. But if you are just doing nothing, you are fat. And instead of (laughs) going to the gym, you're out here saying big is beautiful. But then you're also hey, panting bruh. on the top of your lungs when you cross a flight of stairs. <laughs> that does not help. Bruh, you know you what see, I'm saying? You see, as, as dudes, at least, you see, in our world, fat is never beautiful. It will never be beautiful in fats our world. Two, two women, yeah. fat guys or, or chubby guys will never be the, the aim. Some girls like dudes with a little bit of, a little bit of meats or a little bit of fats. Good for but them. That but that comes with a wallet. You can only be fat if your wallet is nice. Yes and no. I think it's also a preference. Like yes, I know. A, a lot of hunts yeah. don't like like skinny dudes or dudes that like gym too much. Like a lot. Like they just want normal dudes. Like yeah, I, some, I, some I, women right. actually okay. like chubby motherfuckers. Yeah, it's there's a stereotype that nah, hands want niggas with six packs. No, like these are just fantasies. Like we said, hands will just speak their fantasies out. They they trying to manifest, <laughs> but it's not what they really want. <laughs> Look at what all they do. Don't listen to what all... they say. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah, but very honest, says us. Sensational. But yeah. sensational. Right, let's let's wrap this up, James. Ow. Oh, I'm I'm so touched, bro. Man even referenced me. He put he put <laughs> he, he did he did a, a referencing Harvard re- referencing, bro. Bro, <laughs> angry. Yeah. But yeah, angry. <laughs> but yo, man, no, we we chopped it up. Yo, that got really deep. Niggas were kumbaya holding hands around the fireplace at the end of that. Podcast. Bro, it it started with Kama Sutra, and now we're here. We're here, man. But once again, this was yours truly, Fear Bavaria. Where's the sniper? Kane. And this is, this was, and this always will be the most sensational podcast sensational. on this planet. The Let Me Mansplain podcast where everything, 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 everything goes. Just as long as you can mansplain it. Mm-hmm. Hey, at, le- at least this time is everything was, was on time. Oh, man. All right.